All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some more practice with all the stuff that we talked about, all the extra stuff on sequences, okay? So we wanna find out whether this function is going to be increasing, decreasing, not monotonic, which means it's not purely increasing or decreasing. We wanna find out if it's bounded, conversion, divergent. We wanna know everything about this thing, all right? So what is this, first off, what does this even look like? Well, a sub n equals sine n. Well, that's just gonna look like sine x, right? Except it's going to be dots instead. All right. So, and that's probably not the best uh, sequence graph, but whatever. All right. So you get the point. So first off, is this increasing, decreasing, or not monotonic? Well, it's not purely increasing or decreasing because you can see that right here, it's increasing. And right here, it's decreasing. And actually, it's decreasing to out here. So this is not monotonic. Next, is this bounded or not bounded? And well, we can say that it's bounded because it's not gonna ever cross this point right here, which is one, okay? It's never gonna cross uh, a sub n equals one, and it's never going to get any smaller or any larger in the negative direction than negative one, okay? So it is bounded. Lastly, we know that this sequence is divergent because it's just oscillating forever, okay? It's never converging to anything, okay? It's not monotonic. It's just gonna keep bouncing back and forth between one and negative one, so it is divergent. All right, and that does it for our first example. Lastly, we have our sequence up here, a sub n equals one over four n plus seven. Now, is this increasing, decreasing, or monotonic? Or, or sorry, are not monotonic? And we can tell by just looking at what a sub n plus one is, okay? A sub n plus one, well, that's gonna be one over four times n plus one, because we're just gonna plug in n plus one for n, okay? And then we're gonna add seven. Now that ends up being one over 4n plus 4 when we distribute plus 7, which is equal to 1 over 4n plus 11. Now, 1 over 4n plus 11, okay, the denominator, 4n plus 11, that's greater than the denominator here, which is 4n plus 7. So that means, since this is going to be greater, well, at least the 4n plus 11 is going to be greater, that the whole fraction is going to be smaller. So we get a 1 over 4n plus 7 over here. That's telling us that a sub n plus one is less than a sub n, which means that this, this sequence is decreasing, purely decreasing, okay? So we can write down decreasing here, which means also that it is monotonic because it is purely decreasing and it's never changing. It's just always going to be decreasing, okay? And that's because we're, we're using n's here, okay? N is not just, we're not just plugging in just one term here, okay? We're talking about all terms. We're talking about n, okay? You can plug in any term for n, okay? And it's still going to be decreasing. That's why we know that it's monotonic, okay? So is this sequence going to be bounded at all? Now, we know that one over four n plus seven is gonna look something like this. Okay. And we know that we start at one, so I guess you could say right here is going to be our first point. And that's going to be our bounded above point right here, okay? It's going to be bounded above like right here, okay? And that's going to be at the top, which is at one over four and plus seven. When we plug in one, that gives us our, our max value, okay? Because this is going to always be decreasing. That max value is just going to be one over 11. So it's going to be one over 11 right here. It's min value, okay? Well, it's gonna be bounded by a, a sub n equals zero. It's never gonna to touch it though. So it's bounded, and we can write that as a sub n in the middle, and we could have right here, it's going to be greater than zero, okay? It's never gonna to touch zero, it's gonna to be greater than zero, and it's going to be less than or equal to 1 over 11. 
So it is bounded though. Okay, so we did get at that out of that. Now, is it gonna be convergent or divergent? Well, we can use the monotonic sequence theorem to tell us that it actually is going to be convergent, okay? Because it is monotonic and it is bounded, meaning that it has to be convergent. And looking at this graph, you can see that it converges to zero, all right? So that is going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for more on sequences, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.